Hi guys, it's Brianna and today I'm going to be showing you a little get ready with me video. Um, it was a little spontaneous, I just decided to film a get ready with me. Not necessarily a get ready with me, but kind of a get ready with me just because, I don't know. I'm not going anywhere. Honestly, I just felt like doing this look because I felt like beating my face. I haven't done that in forever and it felt really good. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Brianna. Nice to meet you and welcome. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this one and to see more of me. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below any other videos you wanna see on my channel from me or anything, I don't know, comment cotton candy. No, comment, ooh, comment cotton candy grapes because I just bought some from Publix and they're amazing. Okay, that's enough talking. Let's just go ahead and get into this cotton candy grape look. So stay tuned. All right, I'm going in with the Blemish Rescue Primer from Bare Minerals. So let's chat. What has been going on with me? Honestly, a lot. Like ever since I moved out, I've been really relaxed um, and I moved in with my boyfriend in case you guys didn't know, but we do live together and honestly, it's been like one of the best things. I will pick this conversation back up in one second. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and let me know if you guys want to see a brow routine. I will be posting that too soon, but just let me know if you guys really want to see it because... I'm posting one, so I will be right back. All right, you guys, my brows are done. So when I moved out and I moved in with my boyfriend, everything got a lot better for me. I was living by myself before I moved in with him and he, we were doing long distance. By the way, that was my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. But that's when life started to pick up for me, it was honestly when he came into my life and when I just started to get back on track with everything that I wanna do. So, I have some big things coming for you guys. I don't wanna say too much yet, just because I want it to be a surprise, and plus I wanna make sure everything works out perfectly, so I'm not gonna say too much, but I'm working on some pretty big things. And I'm so excited to actually feel accomplished or feel like I'm doing something. Um, I was going to school, but I'm on a break right now. Don't worry, I, I'm gonna go back, but that's just not on the top of my priority list right now. So that's why I decided to just put that on hold and see what I wanna do first and then come back and address that. So I cut my hair, obviously, and I know I made a hair video about it, but after I cut my hair, I felt like a lot of just a lot of the depression that I was experiencing beforehand when I lived by myself and just when I was going through a really rough time, it kind of dissipated after I cut my hair. Like my hair was holding onto that energy and that bad energy. Once I realized that that's what needed to happen, I was like, okay, I got this. I'm going into the James Charles palette, picking up this purple here, this deep purple. And I'm gonna pack that onto the lid. I'm really happy that um, at where my life is right now and the point that I'm at in my life, I'm very, very happy. And I haven't been happy in a long time, so that's exciting for me. These shades are so pigmented. I haven't even worked with the James Charles palette as much as I have liked to. I know I did a review on it a while back, which I will link up here. But, and I know this looks so crazy right now, but don't worry, it's gonna get better. But let me take that shader again and go in with this lighter purple right above it and just kind of do that um, to help blend out these colors. It's right on top of where the other purple is kind of blended out. But anyways, with cutting my hair came a lot of motivation. So that's where these videos are coming from because I don't know, I've just been feeling really motivated lately and very pumped to wanna to film and to be on YouTube and to um, use my time wisely because at the end of the day, it's all up to you and what you choose to do with your time that makes a difference. So 
I was like, you know what? I'm feeling this fresh burst of energy. I'm going to make use of it and I'm going to put it to work and I'm going to get back to YouTube. So here I am making videos and content and I made a new intro and everything. I'm proud of myself because I'm strong. With everything that I've been through, I've been very, very strong and very, very patient with a lot of things. So me finally being able to say that I'm motivated enough to want to come on here and do videos is like an accomplishment for me. And I love it. I love the energy. I love the feeling of filming and editing editing has become fun to me now because that was honestly the real issue and i'm not gonna blame it 100 on these circumstances but it didn't help that i didn't have the correct set that i wanted to and i was making do with what i had but i just felt like no i want a true setup i want to be able to film to just sit down and film that's all i wanted that's why I became really unmotivated is just because I was like, this is too much work to have to set this up and break it down and set it up and break it down every single time with my lights and my tripod. And I would get so discouraged and just be like, you know what, I don't want to film. That's why I neglected my channel in the first place. And I never wanted to neglect it, but that's just how I was feeling. I was at the point where it's like, I don't want to be, f I don't want to feel forced to film I want the feeling of wanting to film come to come to me naturally. I don't want it to be like, oh, I have to film or I have to produce videos. I want it to be on my own time and I want it to be exciting for me and fun. And I wasn't experiencing that and that's why my channel suffered. So I think I'm gonna take this purple right here because when I was reviewing the palette, this was one of the colors that really attracted me. This is such a pretty color. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that and I'm gonna use my finger and pack it on to the purple on my lid and see how it looks. Ooh, that's so pretty. I wish these shadows had the names of the shadows next to the eyeshadow pot because that would be so much easier to be able to remember the shades because the shades came on that little plastic piece of paper, but I throw that out. I don't have time for that. All right, for my brow highlights, I'm gonna go in with Ooh, I'm gonna use my wet and wild highlighting powder in precious petals underneath the brow bone and just diffuse that out into the pink so now I'm gonna go in with some liquid liner and I'm gonna do a blue liquid liner right 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 isn't that fancy okay so that was another thing with my car and why I got a new car so my old car my Jeep Liberty which I did mention in my new car video broke down like literally the wheel the axle snapped in half and so we took it to the mechanic and he told me it was gonna be like 1200 to fix and I was like no I'm not doing that um, I sold it to him for a thousand he bought it for a thousand off of me and then I used that towards my down payment for my new car. And I had been saving up for a while too just because I kind of knew that Lily was going to eventually give out on me. So I needed to be prepared um, just in case I needed to buy a new car like instantaneously, which I did. And so I'm really glad that I was saving up and I was prepared because I knew it was bound to happen. I just didn't know when it was gonna happen. And I was originally just gonna not even wait till she broke down and just get a new car. But my boyfriend convinced me otherwise and to kind of just ride it out until the end. So that's what I did. So anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and move into face starting with foundation so I'm gonna use the CoverGirl um, True Blend Matte Made in the shade T10. I love this foundation and I love this foundation brush. Okay and then I'm gonna go with two different concealers. I have my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Cafe Con Leche and then I'm going to do a little bit of my Morphe Concealer in the shade C3.55. 
and I'm just gonna use this to kind of blend out the NARS shade. Not because the NARS shade is too light for me because I do use it all the time by itself, but because I feel like it gives a more seamless blend to the concealer. I'm taking the Fenty setting powder in Butter, the Pro Filter setting powder. What do you guys think about smile lines? Because I want to know. First of all, I get smile lines so bad. Like, I've tried so many foundations, so many setting powder techniques, and every single time, my smile lines will crease, and I never know why. I don't know if it's just my deep set smile lines. I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong, but you guys comment down below and let me know because I'm really interested to see or to hear your thoughts on that and your experience with smile lines. So now I'm taking um, another Morphe brush. This one is like a tapered brush and I'm just gonna go right underneath the eyes and swoop away the excess powder. So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze and to bronze I'm using my Lancome bronzer in the shade Solaire. I'm gonna bronze with this. It's a little mini tapered brush from Morphe. My friend Natasha actually picked out these colors for me when I was at work earlier. Um, she's one of my coworkers and one of my friends and I was like, girl, give me so shout out to natasha if you're watching this i was like give me a few shades because i want to do a look so pick out three different colors and i will do a look so she said purple pink and blue i'm gonna take wild sunset from estee lauder on a big fluffy brush and i'm gonna dip it in a few times and buff this on the high points of my cheeks i'm gonna mist my face with the morphe continuous setting spray Get it all nice and wet. And then I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow, which is the one that I used underneath my eye. So I think I'm gonna do that one just to tie everything together, make it a little easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on lashes and then I will be right back for lips. All right, you guys, so I have my lashes on and this is what the look is looking like. So I'm gonna go in with this blue right here from the James Charles palette. It's just a deep blue on a concentrated blending brush and I'm just gonna blend this right underneath the eye. And then I'm gonna take the pink and go the rest of the way. But now I'm gonna take um, another one of those small crease brushes, the blending brushes, and I'm gonna take more of that precious petal and I'm just gonna pop that in my inner corner to help brighten up the entire look, just like that. Lips is next. So I'm lining my lips with a Bare Minerals pencil in the shade Attitude. So once I do my lip liner, then I'm gonna go with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu. And then lastly, I'm going in with the, I'm gonna go with my NYX gloss in the shade Baby Doll, just for a little more of a pink pop. So we are completely done with this look. It actually turned out really good. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Don't forget to give this one a big thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.